In this video, we'll be seeing how to implement autocomplete using Google Maps API. We'll be using the Maps JavaScript API and we'll be implementing this one. So when we search, you will get the suggestions here and you can select it and you'll be getting this JSON response. And after that, you can use the response as you want. So we'll be seeing how to select the required fields as well. So let's get to the implementation. First of all, you can come to this URL. This is the documentation link. You can come here and you can see this code implementation. We'll be simply following this one. Before that, you have to go to your Google Cloud account. Go to console.cloud.google.com and you can select your project. So this will be the project that I'm going to work with right now. So select your project here and after that, you have to enable billing and after that, you can come here and you can go to API and services. Click on enable API and services or you can directly go to the library and you can search for, okay, this is the one, Maps JavaScript API. You have to enable this one. Enable it. You can see it automatically created an API key. So we'll be using it later on. So let's go back. Okay, we can set the restrictions for this later on. So I'm clicking maybe later. You can set the restrictions as you want. You can set the website and set your website URL here. So that's the best practice. You have to set it. Otherwise, others can use the API key. So right now, I'm not going to set any restrictions because I'll be deleting this later on. And after that, you can come back and you have to enable the Places API. So you can search Places here. Okay, you have to enable these two. Let's enable them both. Enable it. Okay, you can enable one more thing. That is this one. You can go to Places here and uh, you have to enable this new one also. You can see the UI changed a little bit because we are in this. So you can go here and list the library. So hope you understand that. It's a very small change. So I will show you what all things we enabled. So we have enabled Maps, JavaScript API, and Places API, and the Places API new one. Okay, so these three things we have to enable on our project. Okay, so you have to make sure you have enabled it on your exact project. And after that, you can come to the API and credentials either here or you can go here. Okay, and you can see we are already having one which we created while enabling the JavaScript API. So you can use this one. So you might be getting a different uh, UI. So if you're using this one, the UI will be different for you. So don't get confused with that. So you can show the key here, copy the key. So the key is required, so you can copy it. Now we can go back to the documentation here. Here we can copy this HTML part and we can open our ID. So I have opened VS code and created a file. So we can place this here. Okay, let's remove this here, okay. And uh, you can see this one is not required. We can remove it. Can remove the CSS as well. Okay, okay. This is the JavaScript API part. So you don't have to touch it. And this one you can do as you please. So the next thing is to copy the JavaScript part. So you can come to the JavaScript part here and you can copy this much. We'll now be checking the CSS part. That's not important. And we can add the JavaScript here. Okay, we have to open the script tag and we have to paste it here. Okay, let me just format the code. Okay, so here in the JavaScript, you can see, let's remove all these comments so it will be much visible for you. Okay, here you can see we don't record this one. Uh, we can remove that in order to make the code much simpler. Okay, let's remove that and uh, we can remove that from here. Okay, okay, this much is required right now. Okay. So if you don't understand what we removed, we simply removed this element, okay? We are adding a new element and that is simply adding this text to the one after searching, okay? I will show you, uh, let's run it with this one and I will show you what that element is. So we have to change this API key, that's it. So that's all what we have to do. You simply can change this one and uh, you have to give the API key that you copied right now Leave the API key and you're good to go. Let's try running this on live server. Okay, you can see this is showing it as a big one. Let's try typing something. Okay, it is working. You can see the suggestion is working. So let's go back to the ID. You can add document type here. So simply add 
document type HTML here and you can refresh the page and when you refresh this page you can see it is coming properly let's try entering a place name here and we can select the place here and you can see the suggestion here okay you can see the data displayed here you can see display name formatted address and the location you are getting the latitude and longitude so hope you understand this let's see how we can add more fields to this one so for that you can come here and scroll down here you can see the option for adding fields so if you add a star here you will get all the fields so simply add a star and you can refresh the page so refresh the page and you can type something here okay now you can see all the data is available so you can see everything here see so you are having access to all the details okay so you can use the details likewise okay you can get the number all these details so hope you understand that so that's all if you want to use the places separately maybe get the place name or address you can uh, do that here and uh, you can uh, get the address and show it in some field so you can do that according to your requirement so hope you understand that so if you want to just get the field maybe like the formatted address or the display name etc you can specify that here and you can take that maybe the latitude and longitude is inside this location so it will be an uh, array you can check that on the result so you can search and uh, you can see the location is uh, json so you have to get it inside the you have to convert it to an array or uh, do likewise okay so you can get the latitude and longitude here so instead of just printing the json if you want to get just the formatted address or the display name something like that you can uh, i will show you by consoling and logging this to console so let's console dot log and uh, let's show this one places dot we can show the formatted address and that's it okay so here we can just inspect this one and go to the console section okay and now you can search something okay and when you select you can see the formatted address is available in the console as well see so like that you can get the element and you can use that anywhere you need maybe you need to fill in the form uh, for a login or maybe for shipment etc so you can use that like this okay you could get the pin code all those things and you can fill that so that's all hope you understand this video if you have any doubt you can leave a comment below it's a very simple video you simply can follow the documentation and uh, you could do it easily so if you have any doubt leave a comment below and i'll respond to them if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more such videos